Good evening, the salutations. I am Vader Prime, and welcome. And then we're back in Solaris. Uh, now, with it, we are just doing the Worm and the Waiting, which is almost finished. So let's get time started. Speed it along. Uh, so yeah, we've got two months for that. Other research, we have 203 months for four battle fortresses, 60 months for Empire leader capacity. Uh, well, that will be done when the generate the entry point is done. You are coming low on resources. It's not good. So we need obviously to get that fixed. But we have also become part of a federation. So that's always better. And we've got a lucky sector here we can do getting one sorted up somewhere else. What are our planets? Let's have a look at these. Service, do we need any Upgrades. Yes, you can be upgraded. No upgrade needed. Nothing. Nope. Then again, saying that we've got loads of quite a few upgrades, but we still need our resources built up a bit. Uh, how long have we got now? One month until the special project complete. Ooh. Uh, the project is complete. The ancest uh, the ancestors are online, or the accessors are online. Uh, online. The power network are, of a dozen cities is diverted to wake the Presidio Singularity, or the Proto Singularity, at the heart of the alignment. Ooh. Space shudders like wind, uh, reeked cloth. <coughs> soul. Ooh, anyway, I think we better go on the soul system in case something happens. Anything happening here? Anything? Nope. Damn it. Uh, so yeah, so, so where was it? Uh, soul. For a heart-stopping moment, dims. Ooh. And then brightness. A shadow coil in its heart. Ooh. Uh, the worm is here. It unfolds like whatever that word is. Uh, across the system, sensors uh, shut down in uh, object disbelief as the incomprehensible data uh, of its arrival uh, steeps through them. Uh, on the homeworld, our subjects scream and cower as they feel its uh, attention turned up on them. Ooh. And upon us, its precedence, a wordless question, presents a wordless question. Or rather, we have become aware that this question was always what it was asking for every time we encountered it. Yes, whatever it takes, we are we consent. Ooh. No, we have brought it here to learn and, if need be, defeat it. Hmm. So nothing goes on really. I think we'll go. With, yes, with it. See where it takes us. Ooh. Okay, our solar system turned into a black hole. Uh, the worm loves us. It uh, will always love us, and thus it always has. It winds around the hot heart of our home star. It winds uh, around every influential loop of genetic information. It provokes a shuddering, a series of cataclysm, classic cataclysmics in the planetary cluster of our home. But when our star grows cold, that cataclysm will warm us. We understand so. Uh, we understand so much more. We will always be what we are going to be. Uh, wound light in the love of the world. What was shall be, what shall be, was. Ooh. End of the world of the waiting. <laughs> oh, we've got unrest. Who's giving us unrest? It's about what for? Oh, food. Let's give it a pause for a quick moment. Uh, what can I replace now? What can I replace? That's, mm. mm, let's replace you. Oh, there you go. Spaceport. Yeah, you've already got something. So, let's replace you with food. Yes, that should help out a bit. So, Earth, we need to go. So, we now have a black hole for the sun. 
Does that mean we can actually do anything with it? Uh, construction ship. Can you actually do anything with it? No, you can't. So it doesn't really change much. We've got a black hole. Uh, typically formed as a result of the cataclysm of a very massive star at the end of... Yeah, so it's a black hole. I wonder if that means anything. It does mean that we've got now leaders of gained a, a level. The same person's gained a level. Ooh. So does that it? Do we have to need anything else? No, that's basically it. The worm and the waiting is now done, from the looks of it. So apart from mining stations... Ooh. I was expecting a lot more. Our planet does we change as a people? No, we haven't changed. Hmm. I think I was hoping for more. Clearly, however, nothing else has changed. Nothing new for our uh, research. I haven't done anything for our ships. I don't think that's just popped up, have they? Uh, increased power or something. Nope. Hmm. So that's it. The Worm of the Waiting has now created a black hole. Ooh, but it has, I've just noticed, made all our planets habitable. So we now can colonise the solar system. All of it. That's nice. Yes, it's colonize. we can colonise all these planets now. That should help, but now we need to focus on other, other things, like power. Some things never change. Uh, we need you to be upgraded. To be upgraded. You to be upgraded. You to be upgraded. So do you. Hopefully that should fix our power problem. Hopeful. But now we're down to nothing of resources. So I was sort of hoping for more coming from that, but... Clearly can't moan. So that's the worm in the waiting finished. Unless it comes back again for something. Creation. So... That was all that done. I'm guessing now it's focusing on building our federation up a bit more, getting some more people into it. That's basically going to be it from the looks of it. Not unless something else pops up. I'll turn you off. Yeah, but let's go back to this. So we've got 14 months until our self-aware colony ships are activated. Uh, which I think after that done will colonise the solar system. 53 months until our empire leader capacity goes up by one. And our battle fortress is another 196. Uh, you really like us. You... So nothing's really changed here either. You really like us as well. There's actually quite a few people in the Alliance now, isn't there? Quite of the big species. Can we offer the Cylons that go in our Alliance? Uh, so we vessels, invite to Federation. They must be at peace. Ah, so the f yeah, they're at uh, war with the, with the gold. Kadir, there you go, from the looks of it, they won't be lasting that long. Got all they've been pushed back more. Unemployment! Oh, you're unemployed. Well, let's get your lovely power plant going. You'll love that. Uh, you're unemployed too, but we can't really afford not to, so we're going to get another power plant. Yes, and just to make sure someone in case is down here. Ooh, I'll go for that one, actually. See if that actually helps. Anybody else? So we get you upgraded. You upgraded. So once again, we're low on power again. Uh, low on resources. We're actually okay for power, though it's going down dramatically. Ooh. So, ours, ooh, someone's leveled up. 
Oh yes, governor's leveled up. Good for him. Yes, took you off. Uh, how's the war going? Any fighting going on? Uh, nothing there. I want to see some Cylons fighting. You're not at war with them, are you? Yes, you're only at war with these people, the ones in the red. But you do have something, don't you? Oh, yeah, space battle. Cylons are tearing our apart, so is his tow my frame rate. So, yes, I think the. Uh, I'll do a construction complete. Good. Make some food. So, if it looks like the Cylons may win the war. I don't know if that's a. Well, it's not very good for the old. Uh, what do we call them? Ghouls. There you go. Got that on there. Are they bombarding the planet now? Yes, they are. All unemployed. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if all fallout shadows now, are they? Oh, plantary fortifications are going to be hit. Yeah, so they aren't going to be lasting very long. But I think once the Cylons have finished off the gold, I think we'll offer them, well, if we can, offer them a chance to join the Federation. Oh, does that mean we can actually look into everybody else's territory as well now with the Federation? In fact, can we learn more about it? Uh, how can we learn more about the Federation? I think I was trying to find this out last time, couldn't find it. Uh, no, I can't think we can. Damn it. I can reform the government. Ooh. We're putting ourselves in mod. Ooh, what's this? Uh, an upgraded uh, compatibility system. Uh, this panel is a universal control system for all mods that have menu buttons in the government uh, window. The screen will display various mods you ha uh, can control. Featured for, the, uh, for it, you have them active in your game. Yeah. The USC features menu will allow always be visible, however it will be. It will be the only option unless you install one of the pads mods that are accepted by the me this menu. Auto build, uh, hoarder invasions, or border invasions. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, the UN, the NSC features menu has two purposes: configure all or all. Configure all your NSC feature settings in one place and to act as a information slash FAQ center. You can configure all NSS, NSC features here, like playable guardians, AI control, even spawn in ooh, systems as you like. At the bottom half of this menu consists of information guides to NSC, exploring how certain features work in NSC as well as providing an FAQ for common asked questions, although the best resource is still the NSC mod website. Ooh, I have no idea, I don't know how to support any systems, that's sort of classed as cheating. Nice to know that that's there. Wish I knew all about it. Uh, what's down here? No, no. Can we have finding out? Ooh. No. Diplomatic map mode. New in map mode. No, these are map modes, aren't they? U2, search, to play chat. So I don't seem to be able to access anything to do with the Empire yet. Do I know I can control their fleet when it comes to my turn? Mm, transport fleet. Does that mean all their ships are integrated as well? where they've obviously uh, merged them together, aren't they? Hmm. So we'll have to build ships for the Empire as well. Uh, so where was I doing? Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, filling up power. What are you doing? Spaceport. 
Looks as if you're building something. Oh, that. I was hoping we could do more with a black hole, though. Now I've got one in our so part of the solar system. Uh, so what do we okay, We've got three here. That's this plan that could do with being occupied as well, and then we can turn this into a big sector. So where are you? You're going to build a colony ship. Yeah, let's go for a private colony ship for once. Once we've colonised this planet, we'll turn this into a big sector. That'll free up some planets for us. Uh, we're already 80 over the fleet, so that could be next that we need to upgrade. Ooh, can we actually build the thing over here now? We should have a colony ship here, shouldn't we? Uh, not yet. Frontier outpost. That's going to take a while to do. Construction complete. Construction complete. Earth. Ah. Ruler gained a trait. Uh, through hard work and experience, Prime Minister has developed new skills. Go for him. Construction complete on Earth. We have inactive buildings. What great you. Oh, someone's migrated. I'm sure they'll migrate back. So therefore, we need to build up our, current, our money again. Or energy credits, because we've got next to none. And that's not very good. You're still building the colony ship. Uh, ooh, I'll upgrade some stuff here. Upgrade, 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 and upgrade. Now we're back to the three again. Damn it. But not much we can actually do there. Uh, Barnard Star, nothing in that system. So yeah, from looks like the big part of it's gone now. I say we're in the Federation. Uh, we've done the worm and the waiting. So the, basically the end game now is to get more people in the Federation and complete it that way, or conquer start conquering people. I'm hoping a war happens now soon. Ooh. Peace has been offered between the Cylons and the Gould. And the Gould have lost a big chunk of space. Ooh. What's in this system? Has another Gould em empire been made? Oh no! A species! The Gould have conquered another planet. Just pause us for a second, everything's Pursuit happening at once complete. now. We now have flying people. And to summary, communicate. Yes, yeah, so they're definitely the dominant people. Ooh. Uh, offer us, we can offer associate status to make them join our empire. Oh, that was which we may actually do. Uh, what do we have though? So we've got peace that's been offered by them. Borders open. Oh, so they've opened borders to us. Thank you. Independence guaranteed towards this new fledging empire, which are pathetic on us in every way. Ooh, except for technology level, they're equal. That's not good. They've only just jump started, aren't they? What's this one? Mining station. The station is abandoned, but once belonged to the gold hegemony. Oh, so it was a, go a gold state. Ooh! Does that mean the gold now actually have their own ships and designs? Does that look like a gold one? We need to have a look at that. Uh, guaranteed. We have new technology that we can now research. Let's go for Mark II generators. That's only got 25 months. Where's the gold? Let's pause that. Uh, look at that. We see inside your system. Actually, I think the gold. These are gold, aren't they? Construction complete. No. No, oh, they're different species. Oops. Are you gold? Do you have gold tech? Yes, you do. You have a station from the looks of it. Have a look at the old ship. From the looks of it now. Non aggression pattern between you and you. Complete. Construction complete. That's good. Ooh, bloody hell. Migration treaty between me. The Cylons are really going out of the way for them, aren't they? But now we can actually offer the Cylons 
the ability to well see if they can actually join our federation. Can you invite the federation? We can invite them into our federation. We can't. Uh, no. Why can't we invite them to the federation? Oh, they've declared someone arrival. Oh yeah, they've declared one of our them people arrival, haven't they? Damn. So we can't get the Cylons to join us. Uh, where are the new people? We have a weird... There they have. We can give them association status. That might be a good thing. I'd offer you an association status. Ooh. Federation association offer. Let's just pause this for a second. Voted to offer them an association status for the Federation. Uh, we have gladly, uh, we'll glad to have the opportunity to work with a favourable compact. Yeah, so they're part of our federation now. Well, they're allied with us, aren't they? Then we can offer them in the future to join the federation. Ooh. Rivalry declared between you people. Ooh. Part of our alliance, aren't you? Nope. Good for them. Let's join Federation. We cannot. Why not? Ooh, me. Oh well. So we've now got a new species made. Or they've at least gained space travel. It's always nice. And uh, get that. Uh, can't offer them yet, I suppose. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, we've actually got a colony ship, haven't we? Where's the colony ship gone? Colonize this planet now, and then we can add that to co eh. influence cost. We can colonize it. Yeah, well, why can't we colonize it? Not like we don't have the influence. Yes. Well, do we have to terraform now? Oh, it's still terraforming, that's why. Damn. Oh, well, where's the colony ship? There you are. You can come over here now. Because when that's done, we can colonize you. Just another 130 something days. No biggie. Yes, you've leveled up, gained a trait. None of our scientists still have changed. Everybody's gaining traits. Scientist is level 3. Everybody's now gaining uh, special you know, updates. Not updates, what people. Oh, now I've got two colony ships. Damn. I never noticed we had one in the system. Right oh, there. Well, actually, you can then go, go, I guess, go back to the solar system and colonize down there. We have several planets. Ooh. Better still, you can colonize this planet. Ooh. Yeah, we'll wait till we get down there. We might colonize that one. I don't want that one to be finished. Hurry up. Not long now. Then we can colonise that planet. Uh, so, fun looks out there. There's not going to be a lot in this episode. Apart from that, like, say we've completed the pact. New species has popped up, which we've offered them association status. We can't give the Cylons an alliance yet because they're still in rivalry with someone, with these people. That's not good. Anybody else that doesn't have a rivalry, which we can offer. No, we have the power. Why not use it? Uh. You like us, but you're not part of it. Ooh, Federation leadership has changed. Where are they? Oops, so there now is that they are now the leader of the Federation. Oh, someone's died now, haven't they? Rivalry has been declared between. Ooh, Ooh something else is happening. What's this? Sleepers awake. Ooh. I'm not liking this now. They look like Halo people. I don't remember putting that mod in. Uh, let's have a look. It begins as a subtle shift in Allegarian behaviour. Scattered reports of their ships, once rarely seen outside their own space, now being spotted in remote systems. Uh, all across the galaxy. 
highly advanced scouting vessels visiting ancient ruined worlds, refusing all hails and fleeting, fleeing when attacked. Their purpose and mission were known until now. We now know that the Ligarians, these people down here, the Zalots, uh, are preparing, con con reconverting, or re covering, yeah, recovering the data banks of survey beacons on automated security uh, scouting posts left behind when they retreated to their present borders, gathering information for their return to the galactic stage. Uh, in Lingerian space, fleets are gathering, armies are being mustered, and ancient factories rear to life. For the first time in an age, the Lingerian Zalots are looking outward beyond their borders and outwards towards the galaxy at large. As their decaying shipyards are repaired and refitted, and the dormant systems of uh, Titan factories or foundries come online, the rest of the galaxy left with only one question. Who will this once sleeping giant target first in their quest to reclaim age-old glory? Giants in the playground. Yes, that's my rivalry. Now I need to go along and make a new scientist. Oh, what we prepared earlier. Missing in action. This one of our fleets has gone missing. Right, Federation has been changed. Rivalry declared. Our leader has died. Oh, what's this one? War declared. Oh. The war has been declared between these people and these people. And they really hate us by 110%. Great. That war's been kicked off again. These two are now going to war again. There's them two, aren't it? Yes. That's a bit shocking, really. Because then they've got a 12k f station. They are saying that they're actually the home system, I'm guessing, or one of their star systems is actually. Yep, terraforming complete. We can now colonise the planet. So let's plonk you there. We drain on resources for a bit. Then we can turn you into a little area. So th this system is actually not as a... What's the word? Heavily defended as you would think. I know ours are, isn't. But neither is theirs. Is this their home world? You just attack their home world, basically. I think that is their home world. So let's see if it's done. Oh no, it isn't. It's an outpost. their own worlds here, isn't it? Yes, there it is. Ooh, the system is a, this system is a bit more heavily populated. Construction complete. Oh, construction's complete. Oh, we can teleport on that plant. No, nope, but I will build a new a vice space station. So if one looks a week now, in our next set of... Uh, videos and so forth, I think we'll actually be going along and building frontier outposts, not frontier outposts, defence outposts along the border, and readying our fleets up. I suppose that. So I think that's where we're actually going to end it this episode, really. Uh, we'd like to say, we've managed to finish off the Worm in the Waiting, and we've got a lovely black hole in our solar system, which I'm hoping isn't going to be bad. Yep, nice lovely black hole, which has also made all our planets colonisable, which is nice. Construction complete, yes. So they really like us, which is always nice. We've managed to colonise this planet over here so we can turn this into a sector next episode. We've discovered that these people are now waking up from their slumber. Ooh, we can colonise that planet. Right, well, these people are waking up from their slumber and instantly gone to war with these people. Lovely. The Cylon and Gould War has ended and birthed in a new species. These lovely people. Ooh. Those lovely people with wings. Nice for them. So, the next episode is going to be a bit more interesting, hopefully. Just when I was saying it's going to be boring, and that we should have a war, we actually do get one. And a possible one that could go to us as well. But I think our big giant empire here, well not empire, but federation, or compact, will be able to handle them. I think I've just jinxed it. 
So I'm going to end that here now, and uh, hopefully there'll be a lot more next time. So until next time, I will see you next time. So thanks for watching, and bye. <laughs>